Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's show, At Home Edition. My name is Jimmy Fallon. Uh, thank you very much. It is day 59 of quarantine. 59, I believe. That's the number going out there. So almost 60. Tomorrow is 60 days in quarantine. I'm staying at home. I'm wearing my mask. If I do go out, uh, which is rare, I'm walking my dog. He, my dog, uh, Gary, was faking a limp today, I thought. She, was, she didn't want to walk as long as I want. I go, Gary, come on. This is a thing. She started like, limping. I go, all right, no problem. Um, so I try to walk her home really slow, stopping all the way. Then once we got home, running around like nothing, like nothing happened. Um, let's get some jokes here. Guys, if things aren't crazy enough, this weekend it snowed in New York City. We've been quarantined for so long, most New Yorkers woke up and were like, holy crap, I slept through the summer. Yeah. What season is it? Listen, I just saw that across the country, all sta oh, as states lifted restrictions, several mini golf courses have reopened. Uh, but this is uh, a little different. Uh, you know, at the end, when you have to get the ball in the clown's mouth, the clown's now wearing a mask. Very difficult. Very difficult. Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin announced that restrictions in Russia will be lifted tomorrow. That's right. Putin said now that people can go back to enjoying all of the old restrictions. Some entertainment news. I saw that there's a television series based on the National Treasure movies coming to Disney+. Plus. And this is strange. The Nicolas Cage role will be played by Joe Exotic. Check this out. 7-Eleven has teamed up with Nike to create a pair of 7-Eleven sneakers. Take a look. And this is cool. All the sneakers are made from the same leather as their hot dogs. They wait, they wait for it to, to rotate. Uh, probably a good 100, 120 rotations. Then they, then they make the sneakers. Listen to this, a rare type of sea slug called the Blue Dragon has been washing up on the seashore in Texas. Is it me or does Blue Dragon sound like uh, knockoff male enhancement pills that you get at a 7-Eleven <laughs> right next to the sneakers? Well, once the pandemic's over, I read that more workplaces will go back to cubicles and private offices instead of open floor plans. That's too bad because I'm really going to miss hearing everyone's hilarious ringtones. Ah, geez. yeah, you fan of Lizzo. <laughs> oh, you're a fan of Lizzo, too. Your ringtone's Lizzo. I get it. <laughs> I heard that a lot of grocery stores are now limiting the amount of meat you can buy. It's awkward uh, when you try to check out with too much, and the cashier's like, We got a meat hog at Register 5. You got a classic meat hog. I read that some people on dating apps are trying to get their matches to break social distancing rules and meet up. Yeah, they're even trying out some quarantine-themed pickup lines, too. I'll show you what I mean. For example, there is, I just tested negative for antibodies, but tested positive for your body. There's also, is that a testing kit in your pocket? Because I hope it is a testing kit in your pocket. There's a shortage of those. And finally, I'm a Cuomo in the streets and a Fauci in the sheets. There you have it. That's the monologue right there, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what a show we have for you tonight. Uh, Multi-talented guy. We're so happy to uh, have him on the show. Seth MacFarlane is here. This is his uh, charity, uh, PeacockTV.com uh, forward slash for good. Uh, he's doing this at-home variety series starting tonight at 7 p.m. on Peacock. Uh, check out what he's doing. It's all for great causes. So we love having Seth MacFarlane on the show. Also on the show, uh, founder of the Momofuku restaurant group. And he has a show. He's the host called Ugly Delicious. Uh, my man, David Chang, is on the show tonight. And here's his charity that he's working with tonight to raise some money for the restaurant workers out there. And for musical guests tonight, we have Lady Antebellum, who will be performing Champagne Night, which is a song that was composed uh, by one of the winners of Songland on NBC. You know, during these uh, times in quarantine, I'm looking for anything that can inspire me, whether it be from my wife or something my kids say or something I hear a bird chirp uh, or things I've seen on Instagram. It's time for hashtag blessed, hashtag inspired. And now, hashtag blessed, hashtag inspired. Guys, we've been holed up in this quarantine for a while now. 
So we're looking for any inspirational thoughts or quotes or visions. And I know where to find them. Instagram. It's time for hashtag blessed, hashtag inspired. Our first inspirational quote is, Your opinion of me doesn't define who I am. But if my pick of my homemade sourdough doesn't get any likes, do I even exist? How about this morsel? Do one thing each day that scares you, unless it's catching a spider, which my wife and I agreed is really more her department. Because I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> Here's a treasure. There's no saint without a past, no sinner without a future. There's definitely no Patriots without Tom Brady. Ah, oh, they ain't gonna do this year. <laughs> no way, Tom. Nah, -uh. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Here's a spot of light sent through a prism of a raindrop and refracted and reflected and reflected and refracted in fractals. Words can come back to haunt you, especially if you just ate tuna salad and you're wearing a face mask. Here's a bonus chunk of granola. Be a voice, not an echo, unless you're trying to really annoy someone, annoy someone, annoy someone. I see you. See you over there. <laughs> this is a little blessing. Some say that happiness is a warm puppy but nobody says that happiness is a room temperature cat. We're down to our last gentle nugget. Help people even when you know they can't help you back. Then keep reminding them about that time you helped them. They love that. That's all we have time for, for this edition of Hashtag Blessed, Hashtag Inspired. Thank you very much. That guy, that guy has it all figured out. That guy's found peace. Hey, you know, I want to check on some friends because I miss my friends. I miss my crew over at NBC. I miss the Roots. So I got a, a chance to check in with Tariq from the Roots today, and he just seemed a little bothered, just a little irked. Check it out. Hey, Tariq, what's up, my man? How you doing? Hey, what's up? What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> You, you doing good, man? I'm good. I'm just thinking of some stuff that I need to add to my irk list. Your your irk irk list? Yeah, you know, like my my list of things that that irk me, piss me off. Well, what do you mean? What's 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 irking you? What's bothering you? I mean, you know, they, they, I'm just tired of being talked down to in my own home, Jimmy. I People mean, in the, your house are talking down to you. Yeah, exactly, exactly, man. The wife, the toddler, the teenager—they all talk down to me. I mean, granted, they're all they're all taller than me. You know, that's, <laughs> that's cool. You're I'll not, give you that. You're not, you're not that short, though. I mean, I'm not that short, but you know, just a little bit. You know, I just want to be built up a little bit, man. You know. What are they, what are they doing to you, though? They're too petty, man. It's like they take all my favorite things and they store them just a little bit beyond my reach. <laughs> right. So, like, it's as to make me think I can reach it, and then you know, I try, and then I realize I can't, and then it's like, oh, you know, why don't you grow up? But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm full grown. <laughs> it's like I don't have you know a retractable mechanical arm. I don't have like a ladder, <laughs> a, a proper <laughs> stepping stool, or a trampoline to pick up the slacks. So, you know? So, You're not Inspector Gadget. You're not. Yeah, Inspector what, what I wind up having to do is like risk life and limb by climbing up on a stool, and then, and then I, I get what I need, and then like to get back down, it's it's more of an ordeal. I gotta like you know come down to one knee. You know what I'm saying? Huh. And yeah, God forbid stress. I jump off the stool. I mean, I I, I I could be jumping to my doom. Nah, this is stress he does not need. This is stress you do not need. Exactly, it's too much, man. It irks me. My four year old son Tariq, you know Tariq, he can reach yeah, everything. Him. He can reach everything, no matter how high we try to hide it. He's a cool dude. Last week, I found a pile of wrappers and containers and stuff, like, hidden in the cabinet 
of all sorts of stuff, man. Gummies, snack bars, uh, Go-Gurts, Rando <laughs> Kit Kat wrappers. <laughs> it was a mess. And this is all stuff that we keep on a shelf that's like 12 feet high. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how can you reach that? Yeah, if man. You, if you're that smart and that self-sufficient, you should be able to wipe your own butt, right? <laughs> I mean, you should be. But no, no. You know what I'm I feel like he probably can, but he'd just rather, you know, like call for the royal wiper like Prince Akeem and coming to America. And then, you Why know, not? Exactly. Then here I come. <laughs> he knows what he can do and what he can't. Yeah, it irks me, man. It irks me. <laughs> You know what else irks me? What? Um, you know, talkative toothbrushes. Talkative toothbrushes. Yeah, it's like my wife, man. I feel like if it's something pressing you that much that you have to tell me right now, don't wait until you're brushing your teeth. The electric toothbrush is going, the water's going and stuff, you know what I mean? And then you know, <laughs> like, I don't understand. It's like you're speaking a Morse code. I don't understand that. That is insane. And then you know she she spits out the toothpaste, and it's like, uh, what time did you leave us last night? And I'm like, like, what do you mean? What time did I leave you? Like, I'm I'm still in. I didn't abandon my family. Like, I awakened and I left the room. I started my day. Like, what time did I leave you? And then you know when I leave the room, is it, it, actually she's never like bothered. She's never worried about what time anything happens unless it's my time. Like when it's her time, she's allergic to time. But if it's me, it's like yeah. What, what time did you wake up? What time did you leave? What time did you show today? What time did you guys get done? Like you know what time? What time? What time? But if we have to be somewhere, say at five five thirty, we're leaving the house at five forty five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's like, come on, man. Like, she's allergic to time. Otherwise, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, I mean, like me, I'm never late for anything. I'm always on time. I mean, you know, you know that, right? I'm always on time. I pride myself in being, you know, early even, right? Sometimes you're, sometimes you've been late for work. I'm, when I'm late for work, Jimmy, that's on purpose. Tariq, it is great catching up with you, my man. Let's try to stay less irked, okay, my friend? I'll try. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.